Listen, man, just a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle Chantal here. If you are new to my channel, I do lifestyle content, beauty, fashion, and a little bit of content that kind of just encourages you. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I put on my Instagram, ask me anything, and I don't know why I did because I got some outrageous questions and questions that are just none yet. We're going to go ahead with the first comment um some of them mix between like my weight loss journey which i've shared openly on my channel if you guys don't know i've lost over 100 pounds and now i'm in the process of building muscle and weight training and just becoming a stronger and better version of myself so the first question is my favorite slash least favorite workout um my i don't really have like a favorite workout but my favorite um, exercise right now is pretty much any kind of rows. So I've been building my back. I love the way my back looks. Uh, if you guys are looking for like that small waist illusion, you want to work your back, okay? Working your back is so important. So I like incline rows. I like I love that exercise, but I also do like working on my legs and my glutes. Um, during the pandemic, I lost my shape, my curves, everything, and my butt went But now I built my butt, it's a little bit rounder, she's coming back to life and more. But I would like to say that I like to work on back and legs and glutes. My least favorite workout would have to be like running on the treadmill. I hate running on the treadmill, but I've come up with a routine to make it a little bit more exciting. And um, a really good way to get through cardio, if you guys are like me, and you don't like cardio at all, download some of your favorite YouTube videos and watch them while you're on the treadmill or the Stairmaster. It's a great distraction other than listening to music because sometimes I'll be listening to music and I'm like, this is not doing it for me. I'm still aimlessly kind of looking around while I'm on the treadmill. So I kind of just watch YouTube videos to get through my cardio. Um, the next question is, can you post the products you took to lose weight? So products that helped me on my weight loss journey, not like made me or made me lose weight, helped me on my weight loss journey were products from Total Life Changes. I no longer promote the company um, for personal reasons, but if there are products that I personally recommend other than the weight loss products now that I've learned a little bit more, it would be the Nutriburst, it would be the Complex, the Chaga, Latin Coffee, any kind of immune boosting products and products that help with your metabolism. But personally right now, I'm not into speaking on any kind of detox teas. Miss me with that question. Next question is, what's your relationship status? I'm just, I'm not gonna answer that question. I'm not gonna answer that question. If you know, you know, but I'm not, I'm not answering that question. Current favorite song. So the song that I'm playing right now to like, to, to shreds would probably be honestly no no I wouldn't even say now a song that I do play till this day to shreds would be um, Mariah the Scientist and Lil Baby always and forever I love that song you guys can find it on Spotify Apple Music and YouTube always and forever by Mariah the Scientist chef's kiss I do love Mariah the Scientist as an artist but that song just hits different like I think I discovered that song when it first came out. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Whatever year it was, Song is Fire. Love it. Um, another question, I'm just not, I'm not gonna answer. Um, I'm gonna answer one more question. This is gonna be a very short Q&A because there were over like five questions asking things that I just don't wanna answer. Um, the last question that I'm gonna answer is, how has being a gym girl contributed to your confidence? I could talk about this all day. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed on my channel, like I've taken breaks and come back, like and come back to YouTube, come back to YouTube and taking breaks and come back and take breaks and come back. And I, when I did come back, I started to share a lot of videos on like growth and self confidence and personal development. And being in the gym and working on myself 
has contributed to all those things that I have been sharing with you guys. The gym has not only given me, hold on, let me go back to that question. The gym has not only contributed to my physical health, well-being, and just new body, baby, <laughs> but it has contributed to my confidence as well. I feel like I learned a lot, of, a lot more about myself when I started to be a lot serious about my mental health and my physical health and kind of pairing those together boosted my confidence with going to the gym. Now, before when I would go to the gym, I'd be worried about are people staring at me? Are people making fun of me? Am I too big to be here? I don't fit in here. Just thinking about all the wrong things and not the fact that people go to the gym to really work on themselves and to better themselves. And if you are going to the gym to judge somebody, you have problems. So that's something that I really had to understand when I did start to get back in the gym, but I feel like working out on my own and seeing what I did by myself boosted my confidence on another level. Like when I walk into the gym, it's tunnel vision. I don't care about who's looking at me. I don't care about what nobody has to say. I'm not paying attention to who's staring at me. I'm not paying, I'm not paying attention to anything other than the exercise that I'm doing and how I look, okay? And that's my period. Um, but I'm just like a lot more confident. I'm a lot more self-aware. Um, it's also allowed me to like be okay with, you know, going through things alone. Like in life, there are things that you have to go through alone. And my outlet to get, you know, all of that anger and sadness out and negative energy out is to go to the gym. And I'm telling you guys, the moment when you start believing in yourself and believing um, in the things that you can do and the moment you start seeing what your body can do, there is nothing anybody can tell you that will change the person that you are. And when I tell you I walk outside, and you know, the way I portray myself on, on the internet, people are like, wow, you're glowing, your confidence is different. Like you start attracting different energy and all those negative comments that you used to receive, they no longer face you. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just a different kind of energy that I can't even explain. And even just being a gym girl or a fitness girly or whatever you want to call it, it's allowed me to dive in a little bit more into my feminine energy. And I'm going to create a video on that. I did have a feminine energy series on my channel years ago. And as much as I thought I understood, I don't think I understood until now. And when I tell you guys, like I'm 27, people will say 27 is young, but 27 hits different. I feel like 27 comes in waves and different phases and it shapes you for entering into your 30s. Like this is literally the, the period where you learn. Um, but yeah, being in the, the gym has also allowed me to tap into my feminine energy in a different kind of way. And one example of that would have been like, if you had told me a few years ago that I should weight train, to lose weight, I would have said no. I'm like, I would have been like, no. Lifting heavy and doing all that stuff is gonna make me look manly. I don't wanna look manly, that is not my goal. I would have just, you know, it would have been like point by period, I'm, I'm not doing it. But now that I have learned so many things over the past three years, lifting in the gym and being able to deadlift over 100 pounds and chest press over, you know, 50, 60 pounds and bite, go from like, you know, 10 pound dumbbells doing bicep curls to 15 to 20 pounds doing, like seeing your body develop and grow and get stronger, that is so attractive to me. Like, I just feel like I'm moving graceful when I'm in the gym. It's just, it's different. It's not a manly and it's not like, mm, I'm walking up in there like, no, like I just feel, I feel sexy. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real, we're adults here. I feel sexy, I feel light, I feel, I just feel beautiful. So long story short, being a gym girly has definitely boosted my confidence in a way I never thought that it would. And if there's any of you that are struggling to get into the gym or build some kind of consistency when it comes to your medical or your physical, mental or physical health, my advice to you is just start. You won't know what works for you until you at least try. If I didn't try, I would be the same Danny. No, I would be the same Danielle that I was back in 2019 when the pandemic first started. And people will call me Danny, but I feel like I've, I've now earned the name. I'm a different person when you call me Danny. Like, Danny is different than Danielle, you know? Danny is, is not the sad, timid, shy girl that she used to be. Like, that, that is Danielle. Danny's a beast. Danny's a whole beast. Danny doesn't care about anything and anyone 
that's not contributing anything positive into her life. So yeah, that's a long, a long answer, but I really had to answer that question because the other questions weren't going to be answered. <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys learned um, a little bit more about me. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and film a new intro video for my channel because I do feel like my content has changed over time. So like I said at the beginning, I do lifestyle videos, vlogs beauty and fashion, and I also do any kind of advice videos. Like I said before, personal growth and development, um, diving in a little bit more on feminine energy. And I just have to accept the fact that that's me now. My old content was me, but now I feel like all of those things embody the kind of person that I am. I don't really do makeup videos. I'll do like some beauty stuff in terms of the products that I wear, because I just don't, I don't do full face makeup or anything like that. I do the same makeup. Every time I wear makeup, it's the same makeup. The only thing that changes is lashes. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know were able to learn a little bit more about me, especially if you are new to my channel. If you made it to the end of this video, I love and appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that like button because that really does help to boost my videos. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the family. And if there's anything you wanna ask, or any kind of content that you do want to see on my channel, go ahead and use the comment section down below and let me know. Let's have a conversation. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Shelly, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey.